Hi and welcome. Just had a huge rain, actually two times today, like big rain. I think you can still probably see those clouds. They were like right over here and it was so dark. Uh, now, after the two rains, it's very refreshing. Still very hot, but it's very refreshing. My plants got the natural watering. <laughs> I'm so happy I, I didn't have to do it. Anyhow, I feel like it's very refreshing now after rain and the sun come, came out again. It's like nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. I just feel like a little flow in this beautiful, refreshing moment. And I'd like you to join me. And I hope you like this flow with me. After this, I hope that you also feel like the weather now, it's very refreshing and very spacious. All right, so I'll see you in the back of our mat, Neely. Okay, now we're kneeling in the back of our mat. I feel wiggles. Oh, the sound is actually going into the direction of setting, so it's facing right towards my face. It's kind of good because I don't, I haven't had the sound for all day, and now just coming out for a little bit of sound. <laughs> okay, so all right, reset your kneeling position and take a big inhale, breathe the chest in and back out. Take a big inhale and then hands like shaping the kind of the heart. <laughs> and open up, exhale, cactus the arms, bring the elbows kind of towards each other. Receive the energy from the nature. We'll do it two more times like this at your own space, own pace. Sorry, <laughs> my English is not that good. Round your back, put your hands into a heart. Inhale, lift yourself and bring the elbows together to reach each other. They don't, they don't have to, but it's just a motion of opening the heart. Exhale, round up, inhale, lift, <laughs> cactus the arm, open the heart, say hello to the sun. All right. So now let's cross the fingers and bring it out from the back. Feel the stretch of your upper back, tuck the chain to the chest. Lift your arms all the way towards the sky and bring them to the right side stretch on the left. Sit your hips also outside of your feet to the left, come into a deeper side stretch. Open, make sure your chest is open, don't round your back, open your left arm, bring the left elbows back and the right hand down on the mat. Pointing the left fingertips all the way towards the right. Feel the deep stretch and the sensations. Big exhalations. And if you want, let's do a little bit of creative creativity. Exhale, bring your right left finger, fingertips all the way to reach the right corner, the right side, or the mat. Like somebody is pulling you, but keep your uh, sit bones down on the mat. Feel the stretch of your shoulders, your tricep, your side body, and open up again. Inhale. Bring the hand behind the head. Open with the elbow, feel like the elbow is pulling toward the back, 
and pointing the elbow down towards the right knee. Inhale up and exhale. Back to center. We'll do it on the other side. It's perfect for this beautiful afternoon. <laughs> exhale, tuck the chin in and round the back. Inhale, lift arms up and pointing them to the left. Bring the sit bones down to the right side. Side stretch to the right, so open the chest. <clears throat> Left hand down and pulling even more through the right fingertips. Take a big inhale, lift your gaze up and exhale, putting the right fingertips on into the left. Pull, pull, pull. Ooh, so good. Inhale, lift up. Put the right hand behind the head. Exhale, pointing the elbow towards the knee. Inhale, up. And exhale, back to center. Let's slow it up. <laughs> mm. Keep your knees a little bit wide. A little bit, like hip distance. Take a big inhale, lift your hips up and come into a kneeling position, onto your shins, lift your hands up, keep your hips neutral and square, don't back bend or hip back, just keep them neutral, hands up and put your weight down to your left knee a little bit and bring your right foot out into a low lunge. Tuck your tailbone in, keep your spine neutral, hands up. Mm. Take a big inhale, exhale, twist towards the right side, open arms, arms like a T-shape. Inhale here, exhale, bring the right hand down to the left side, or if you can, to the left shin, I cannot or to the lower back and lift the left hand up and dip your hip down towards the mat. Feel the stretch on the left inner side and groins, hip flexors. Lift your left hand up, up, up. Keep your body in a twisting motion. And from here, bring the left hand behind the head. Open up, inhale, exhale. Bring the left elbow in to reach the right knee. That's one. We'll do it two more times. Inhale. Open up. Oh, so good. Exhale. Bring it up down to knee. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Bring it down to the knee and bring the right hand down to the mat and lift your elbows one more time again. Keeping your right hand on the mat. Oh. And let's hit it, the left uh, knee. Bring the shin towards the back side and let's face the left side of the mat. Oh. A little wiggle, a little back and forth, opening your right hip. Let's prepare yourself in, into the gate pose. Bring the right toes also forward towards the left side. Uh, preparing for gate pose. Arms into T shape. Press down through the right thing, uh, right, uh, right small toe. <laughs> pinky toe. Press through, even through the right pinky toe. And lift yourself up. Inhale here, exhale, gate pose. Side stretch on the left. A lot of side stretch, a lot of side stretch. Inhale back to center, exhale, bring the left hand down 
to the left and extended side stretch on the right side. Still keep pressing down through the right pinky toe. Like form a one long line through the right fingertips to the right pinky uh, right toe. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, get pose again. We'll just wave around in these two poses at home pace. When you come down into this side stretch, try to open your chest a little bit towards the sky, form a little bit like a stargaze pose. Also, a variated version of the mouth thing. Lift yourself up one more time. Okay, pose. Oh my dear, so good with the church in front of me. And bring it down. Side stretch. Start gaze pose. Open chest to the sky. And then round your back. Bring the hips back a little bit. Well, just move your body all the way toward to face the front side of our mat and bring the right foot a little bit outside to the mat and we'll come into a lizard. Just pivot your body like facing forward again. Dip your hips a little bit more, feel the stretch. Place the left hand on the mat and press the right knee out. So now we'll flow back and forth in the half split and uh, lizard pose. Okay, big inhale. And so bring the hips back, pointing the right toes. We'll come into a half split. Half split in the lizard position. It's also good. Inhale forward into lizard. Exhale, bring it back. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And this time, lift the left knee off the floor. Strengthening and lengthening the left leg. And bring it back. Pyramid. pyramid. So stay in this pyramid pose. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Stay in this downward facing dog for three rounds of breath. You can work out your dogs and one at a time. And bring the heels towards the right, towards the left. Just wiggle your spine. Loosen up. <laughs> one. When you are done, flop forward into plank. And bring the knees onto the mat. Chest chain to the mat. Flow it out. Cobra pose. And bring it back into the child pose. Mm. Now lift yourself up back into the kneeling position at the back of our mat. Settle. Resettle. Big inhale, big exhale. Feel the difference between the left side of your body and the right side of your body. Now we are coming into the right, uh, left side of our body. Big inhale, lift the arms and your hips up. And let's bring the left foot out in front of us not on the same line a little bit out to the left side so keep your hips square so that you can keep a better balance arms up inhale oh sorry <laughs> exhale twist towards the left side arms in t-shape mm, so beautiful inhale here exhale Revolved, stretch, revolved, 
involved with whatever, whatever. Left hand down and the right hand up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And now bring the right hand behind the head. Take a big inhale, even bay over to at the heart and bring the elbow to the left knee. That's one. Hand at left hand can be on the lower back. Inhale, exhale, and two. Inhale, keep the balance. It's also a little challenge to the core. Exhale. Mm. Inhale again, arms open, and pivot yourself to face the right side of the mat. A little bit of hip openings, wiggles here to reset your body for gait pose. Bring the left toes to pointing to point right side of the mat and press down through the left pinky toe area. Take a big inhale, arms um, extend out. It's also kind of like a variated version of warrior two, knees on the floor. Hmm. Take a big inhale, exhale, gate pose. Side stretch to the right. Open the chest also in the meantime and bring it into center. Bring the right hand down to the mat. <laughs> Extend the left arm out towards the front or the back of our mat just to form a long line, a long line of energy as well. So we'll come in between these two poses at your own pace, two more rounds. A little bit of back dance and heart opener. Now let's round the back and bring the hips back a little bit. Um, just move yourself, pivot your whole, your whole body towards the um, front side of our mat. Bring the left um, foot a little bit to the outside of the mat. We'll come into a lizard pose. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lizard, exhale, bring the hips back. Half split. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale and lift to the right knee off the floor. And exhale, bring the hip all the way back. Pillow. Tap the chin to the chest. Now, instead of coming into a downward facing dog, let's bend the left knee once again and use the momentum to bring the right foot outside of your right hand. Bring the sit bone down, come into a yogi squat, spine long and tall. Elbows pushing the knees out, head, hands together at heart center, yogi squat. Mm. And now let's bring the right hand down to the mat to the outside of the right corner. Keep the right knee out, open, left hand to the sky, chest up. Come back to center, we'll do the other side, left hand on the left side of the corner. Open the right hand up, open the chest to the right, and bring it to center. Let's bring the hands down onto the mat. Lift your hips all the way up, come into a forward fold. Bring your toes in. We'll keep it like this with the feet slightly out wide move your move your hips side to side <laughs> i 
and love it. Bend the right knee, straighten the left, and place the right hand, the right knees, your gaze, and open your side, your body to the left side. Lift the left arm. Gaze follow or gaze towards front side, whatever. Just don't stress your neck. And we'll switch side. Bend the left knee, straighten the right, open to the right side. A lot of twisting, a lot of side stretch. I hope you feel very refreshed after this flow. Uh, this is what my body needs, at least. Mm -hmm. One last time, hold, hold. And let's bend the knees. Slowly lift yourself up. Very uh, slowly. Take your shoulder. Here we go. Neck arms at last. Perfect. We'll come into onto the center of our mat. Resettle. Calm down. Feel the body. Now versus before. Like the rain, before the rain and after the rain. This refreshing moment feeling. Take a big inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, bring hands into heart center. Mm. Thank you for joining me today. And at this post bring refreshing flow <laughs> i hope you enjoy this flow just like i did and um, if you like my flows if you like my contents um like will be appreciated and uh, you, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel for more beautiful flows with me almost beautiful parents see you